Greetings everyone and welcome to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, in which we're playing Finally as the 80s. Now I took a lot, it was a lot of time before I decided to play the 80s, but here we are. We have National Spirits of Devils of Utah. We also have the Road Warriors, which looks pretty good. You get more attack and speed, I like that. We have the Terror of the Long 80, which is not bad. You get more political power, resource efficiency gain, and less damage garrisons. We're led by Thunderbird here. And we do have the Roaring Machines, but let's begin with our focus, the Nevada Road War. The hardest point of the Exodus. The Nevada Road War is a name given to the numerous raids and uncounted destruction the 80s wrought on their way, vengeful and furious after being driven off their own homeland. It is what it is. We have one general right now. And the mods I'm using are Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, State Transfer Tool Mod, as well as Player-Led Peace Conferences, even though someone might have recommended that we not use Player-Led Peace Conferences, but it'll be alright for now. The Nevada Road War. The NCR found a foe unlike any other they had faced before, for while they had fought gangs and tribals, they never had before been challenged by true ro road warriors. Even as they drove us from our homeland, we ravaged their allies during the Great Exodus through Nevada. A hundredfold are the tales of respect and fear told by those who are our foes, and a hundredfold more are our own tales of greatness and daring, the legends of the Nevada Road War. For now, I shall tell you the story of the time, the 80s, soul scientist from Vault City, that sounds like fun. Picked up a raider, picked up raider buddies along the way. It's not bad. Kidnapped mechanics from Reno's chop shops. I don't mind that, but that's five percent. That's cool. And on we are. I'm only going to be using motorized finally. So motorized only episode or you know campaign. Five percent is not very much. Two percent more population is pretty good. We only have three research slots, which I'll show you in a little bit. But I think pick up raider buddies along the way seems like the best bet because that seems like it gives you the most things here. Because research speed's not bad, yeah, but population wise, not is. A little bit better. Utah Road War. Utah Road War was the last step of their journey, or finally arriving in a new state. They wasted no time continuing their raiding upon the local tribe until they finally found vast plains suited to their untamed riding. Oh, dearie me. So you guys are just going to go right there, and then y'all are going to go right there. And uh, uh, before, I, before we get too far, I'll let you know I've not tried any of this off screen. This is the first time I'm playing as the 80s, so I have no idea what's going to happen, except that we're probably going to end it in some sort of conflict. We can only get 1.19 political power. Not bad. We can tributize people, huh? Nice. How about Ruby Valley Refuge? Let's see if we can tributize them. I think we were just a bunch of raiders, though. Okay, let's go ahead and disable this, too. Ah, tributize. Our preferred method of diplomacy is shown again, or shown them, tent slickers, who carries a bigger stick. Ruby Valley Refuge now pays us a bunch to owe cap so we don't hurt their precious little civilization. No promises, big guns, big money. And we're also on a historical. No historical focuses here, so. Tax them? Oh, let's try to tax them. The Utah Road War. What wounded, limping, our nation lying in shambles. The dishonorable NCR destroyed us at Sac City, and then they came with guns, explosives, flame, and steel. They killed our greatest warriors and our most honorable citizens, our elders and our children, our past and our future. They forced us to flee, but we still survived and thrived, but when the time is right, we shall come back to Sac City. <clears throat> the bear can think thinks it can drive us to extinction, but then again and again, we've proven ourselves and our worth. Our legacy shall not perish, we shall fight for our rightful future, and we will return home as heroes, delivering our homeland once again. Until then, let our wrath shake the very core of our neighbors. Down with New Canaan? Ooh. White legs are ancient foes. Honestly, everyone in Utah sucks. Yeah. The Thunderbird. The leader of the 80s, Thunderbird came to power with brute strength and exceptional skill with his motorcycle. Admired as a perfect example of the free and wild lifestyle desired by so many. He seeks to strengthen his nation to the powerful tribe it once was. And we're building some of this stuff up. Currently, we're doing research with Ohm's Law, Industry Planning, Improvised Tools. And we're trying to get more guns and motorcycles. So, and motorcycles aren't bad because they give you like five armor or so. Our glorious leader and ruler shall give us victory. For he is the Thunderbird, greatest of the road warriors, master of the great V8, prophet of the great road, and rightful war chief of the 80s. To us, his people, he has promised the future, a redemption for the failures of the past. Let us ride and meet destiny, for in his visions, the bear knows fear, the bull knows caution, and the road warriors know and ride free once more. He has seen a great vision, stability, and war sport. He is a mighty warrior. Well, let's see. We are a raider nation. So, ooh, Russell's from Tumbletown. Tumbledown Ranch. Con Volunteers. Ooh. Not bad. Is there any way for us to get more stability? Yes, there is. So let's go with more war support then. He, he's a mighty warrior. And the Oasis. The Oasis, also known as the pre-war town of Vendover, let the 80s finally rest and gather their strength again after a straining exodus from their homeland. Out for blood against the NCR, but still weakened, they now had to make a choice. I wish I have a cup of coffee here to drink as well. Very, very nice. Are we mobilizing more? Uh, yeah, we're on 
five percent of our population, and we can get up to nine. So not bad. We're still mobilizing. The Oasis. The Aedes fled east after an assault on their base. At long last, they found a home near a pre-war town called Wendover. After conquering the small little town, the Aedes had to decide would they prepare to drive west to reclaim their homeland, or would they prepare to start a new life in Utah, Nevada, born to ride. Uh, more critical population and more support, less construction speed and less training time, or the salt flats of Utah are great for driving. Less consumer goods, more stability, more construction speed. Hmm. All right, so that sounds like it, it'll determine the path we go. Life is a highway. Uh, I haven't listened to that in a while. Let's see, our parking lots. Second Nevada road war. Well, yet another Utah road war. Wow. Oh, CZ Area 51 would be nice. But maybe that doesn't affect us. Uh, we were born to ride. Let's see. Yeah, construction speed goes down, but <clears throat> I kind of want to go back to the NCR. So we were born to ride. So settle down. Has not completed this. Has completed that. It is what it is. Oh, went over camp. Oh, well, there's a actual population workshops. Five percent more. Holy cow! Civilian workshops, arms workshops, outposts. Monthly population. That would not be bad. Well, the next time I play the '80s, please remind me. That we got to go down with settled down in that focus. So the next time I play the A's, because I plan on playing them twice, because we do have second Nevada Road War as well as another Utah Road War. So well-traveled roads, because the people are always on the move, they can carry goods to and fro across the wastes. We would make excellent merchants if we did not attack every settlement we came across. Every own state gets more infrastructure. Okay, not bad, not bad. We're currently on wasteland economy. So what do we have here? Research advisor, Ravik Moore. A broken tribute. Broken or mutual agreement. They no longer want to pay it for the privilege of being left alone. Time to bully some nerds. Aw, yeah. Uh, we'll probably go down to conventional warfare as well, because that helps us with our motorized group, little group here. And can we beat them up? I want to go to war. Launch a border raid? Partoon? Gold Hill? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. That just... Oh! Okay, so now I know. Even if you cancel it, you still lose that political power, which I think is kind of a missed opportunity. Oh, we need caps for this. Well, that's my bad. That's completely my fault. I don't know. Like, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen, so. Regardless, let's take a look at this. Punishing Raider. That's not bad. Division attack on core territory. 5% more attack. There's another reason why the 80s always find more manpower. Daniel Ector. 5% more. Joshua Blunt. Not bad. And do we have Flyboy? Raider of the Skies? Yep. Well, not really Flyboy, but Raider of the Skies. No, oh, Raider of the Seas, too. Okay, okay. And then we have Chief of the Army, the Hero of Ruby Valley. Okay, it's not bad. Expanding the gang. Nay, that's not too bad. I kind of like that one. Stubborn Dude. The other hero... Oh, oh, the other hero of Ruby Valley. Huh. Major Kalashnikov. Wait, what? what? Do we have a Kalashnikov here? Alright. Well, let's see. Wind Waker. Oh, I have not played that game in so long. Peter Barkhauer. Not bad. Hamlin. Okay, pretty good. Leslie Wright, John Keyes, Louis Hardy, Settlement Builders, okay, Eagle, Toothpick, okay. And then we also have William Asbeth, which is, I think, it worth it because 10% really means 0.2 more political power, and I lost some, so. Yeah, Slaving Dude, of course, Power Broker, uh, that's not really great. Military Factory Construction Speed, and that much political power isn't really worth that much, so. Whatever. After this one, Camp Craftsman. Civilian workshops. Yeah, I see this one. We can encourage some of our youth to work with the 80s craftsmen. They are heroes too, even if they don't ride at the front. For what would a driver be without his mechanic? And actually with this guy. Uh, oh, well, we can't do that. God dang it, because we're not elites. Well, alright, whatever. We'll, we'll go, go ahead and grab some more army XP if we can. That'd be kind of nice. No, we can actually upgrade our little trade node. That is probably going to be worth it. Yeah, it's level zero. The cost is political power, but as long as we get slightly more money, more and more money, because actually, well, we can launch a border raid, so I'm not going to click in on that one again. We could get some more stability. Uh, I want some more army speed first. So, if I remember correctly from what I've seen through playing other nations, looking at the 80s, we do get war goals against other people. I would love to take out the Ruby Valley Refuge, New Hammond, East Park. How about, do, can we take out Pale Folk? Let's take a look. Hail. Technically, yes, we go down that way. Alright. Mm. Ruby Valley Refuge, I know we can go to war with as well. Timekeepers, New Canaan. <sighs> Everyone we touch, I think we do get a focus on eventually to take out, so... It's probably not worth going to war early. Gliders, thank you. Construction basics, let's grab some woodworking as well. 
and actually develop or motorized here. So that would be kind of interesting. <clears throat> All right, so after this one, Camp Craftsman. Well, let's just read the next one anyways because we can. Uh, let's see, Camp Smiths. That seems like a good idea. While we honor our craftsmen who makes fix our cars, we must admit that the men and women who make our guns are also very, very groovy. I like that. Very, uh, like that quite a bit. All right, so how's construction going? Oh, God. Oh, that's going to take forever to do. How's the guns looking? Oh, we need more infantry equipment. And motorized still. That makes sense. Actually, what are on our what are on our divisions? Oh, before we do that, let's go here. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be nice. Daily army XP game would be very good. <clears throat> Scrappy's pretty good too. Oh man, 60 day focuses. I'm spoiled by playing other mods or other nations that have 35 day focuses, so oh. I'm so spoiled. Alright, well. How about we do this and nomadic flexibility? We'll read right now. We can patch tires, make tires, change tires, and probably do some other things. Being a member of the 80s means you always know how to fix a car. Well, everyone, I've already gone ahead and done a few more focuses, but now we can do Glory Road. While some may wish to settle down, to drive and travels to seek true freedom. And when we drive it, we know we are on the edge of glory. Now, let's talk about some of the other focuses I've already done on screen, just because, just to speed up the game a little bit. So, I already read nomadic flexibility. And which, you know, we get the things about tires, you get more civilian to military factory conversion speed. It is also uh, April 14th, 2276. I've done Old World Arteries, in which we can develop and repair the Old Roads, and use them to race across the wastes. We'll be in Sac City before you know it. Of course, we've done Camp Weaponsmiths, so while we honor our craftsmen to fix our cars, we must admit that the men and women who make our guns are also groovy, which we've already read before. I've also done Assimilate the Pedestrians. The 80s have long ruled over a series of towns, villages, and farms who give tribute to them, but... This class of pedestrians have some worthy, some worthy of joining our bands, as well as the Ghost Warriors, in which they take the persona of some of the 80s' greatest leaders. Adopting the persona of the departed, they bring our fallen heroes back to the field, adopting the mannerisms for courage, in which we got 5% more recovery rate and a little bit more planning speed. So, let's choose seed selection. Uh, let's see. Actually, we're going to choose that, and research-wise, I've gone ahead and done this, the tribal path, in which we've already done organized military society, which we lose caps income, and caps, even greater caps expenses, we get more passive uh, caps income for the Ghost City Valley. And we've also done infrastructure standardization, which we get more construction speed, which I think is a great thing. And now, I would like to get over here and do more soft attack, more hard attack, what is it? Oh, uh, this one. More cap and retention for scavenging efforts, just because this whole tribal tech thing seems kind of interesting. But we have some more political power, which we will do. Ask the followers to help settlements, which we have the followers of the apocalypse with us. It is what it is. Uh, raid the countryside. I kind of want to see what, if we can try that, maybe. We might as well try that, right? I'm, I'm, we don't just want to sit here and just do nothing for this first episode. Like, oh, the secret burger. If you like to read about the secret burger, though, please go right ahead. I hear he writes as well. And we get some Swiss sauce, which seems pretty nice. So let's beat up these people if we can. Because we do have some caps, and the amount of caps we get slowly goes up more and more. Actually, have, are we trading with our guys yet? Or their trade node? We're, we can't trade with... Okay, we can't trade with anybody. That kind of sucks. And New Canaan would be nice to get. I might try to go for Vault City as fast as possible. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. Engineering-wise, let's grab some research speed. I've kind of ignored that. We only have a few research slots anyways. So for now, we're still ruler. Yeah, stuff is all nice and all. It's not super necessary. It's okay. I mean, we might as well go for this one. It's not great. We lose stability. Honestly, that political power really isn't worth it. You get 5% more military factory construction speed. I mean... It's, it's okay. It's really not great. But we do get another research slot eventually, so that's kind of nice. Long road home, though. Eyes along the road, more decryption. So maybe we'll try to go ahead and try to grab the new hood ornaments so we can get to Words of the Elders. Well, we need more than 20 factories. Ruby Valley would be, look great under our control. Many of its inhabitants fled from us under Great Drive East, so let's finish the job. Thank goodness. Thank goodness we can actually get a little bit of action here, too. Uh, you know what? We might as well create an agency. Uh, let me know. What do you think would be a good name <clears throat> for intelligence agency for the 80s? The eyes of the drivers? The driver's eyes? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Let's go with a horse just because this might be a Mustang or a horse, so that makes a lot more sense because we're... Because we want to move. We want to live free or die. Die hard? Hmm. We could launch a border raid. What are we doing down here? Tributizing them? Good. Alright, so this one is okay. Let's see. What is this state? This is Partoon. We'll do this one. And we'll attack... Ruby Valley? Looned. Is this Looned? That's that's Looned. Ruby Valley itself. I'm going to do Looned. 
led by who are you? Pinchy Smith. There you go. Start the border war. See what happens. Because they shouldn't be able to pierce us, right? Samuel Chapman. At least we got a little bit of action here. And this will... Oh, okay, the raid was successful. You know, this ended up being way easier than I thought it would be. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining, but like a fat dude and a thing, tall guys, border guards, all we had to do was wait for the fat guy to drop a sandwich and we were already burning down their farms. Booty, the good kind. Oh, your men returned with a few less guns. We got a hundred... Wow. If that's a case... Huh. Alright. Timekeepers retracted, we... Alright. This is a lot more fun then. I thought it would be. Like I said earlier, I haven't tried this off screen now, so let's try to get more stability. And set up manual prospectors? Why not? How many, how many caps do we have? 129. That's not bad. Not great, but not bad. And we need to, do need to get um, raise the conscription level. If you like to read about rats, go right ahead. Well, conscription eventually, but raise our combat with. Because this is a template we're using right now, so it's okay. It's not great. We do have some demo teams, which is nice. But. It could be better. We could have more motorcycles, actually. Yeah, we we actually need more motorcycles. We're, we have enough guns. We just need more motorcycles to do that. Uh, crowd control gear would be very nice, but that could probably... Oh, well, let's get one factor on them. And we, we are making some gliders, too, so... And... Tributize. Well, actually, just... They rejected us. Just do everybody. Nice. Well, let's see if we can tax New Hammond. They rejected us. Doesn't even matter. Cool. I want to beat everyone up around here. Uh, that's not over the head of time. Let's go back over here and do some combat language. That'd be good. Alright, so. You all. Raid countryside. I'd like that. People said rejected us? How dare they reject us? Even more stability. Because I don't really care. We're not even making any factories now. That sucks. Uh, I'm. Ooh, flowing into Ruby Valley. Ruby Valley is a refuge for Renia who fled the White Legs. But as Thunderbirds prepare his people for greatness, he realizes that they will need to acquire more resources to proceed. The people of Ruby Valley are fine, ripe target. Ooh, I like them, ripe? Hmm. Long road home, though. We're ready to return home and can use our skills and lessons to our advantage. Alright, so... Start a board of war. Where are we at? We're at Jericho. And we want to attack probably Vault... Ooh, there's robots over there. Maybe we'll attack the Severe Desert. Led by Henchy Smith. There you go. Now what? Do they have anything down there? Do we have anything down there? Hmm. Border war? And then we'll go to war with these guys. Because we want to flood into them. Ah! Booty the good kind. I love booty. Who don't? Because we'll hopefully just flood into here. Uh, wrong group. Wrong group. I like raiding. I should play as raiders more often. Nice. Give about five seconds and I'll have you guys flood into there. Five. Four. Oh. Operative. Edmund Walker? Heavyweight. Um, let's go with Joshua. Doesn't really matter to me. Two. One. You guys should be able to win here. Should. No guarantee, though. Uh, eh, we're going to wait for that. Let's grab some of this. Cap and growth. Pretty nice. Well, no wonder you're not winning. It's only one of you guys attacking there. And you guys aren't doing as well as I hoped you would. And you're trying to defend here. Uh, we could do forced last stand, but no, nah, let's wait. I want you guys to win up down there. Um, if that's the case, you might as well just push in. Can you guys actually win on the attack? Let's do that. You're slowly losing, you're slowly winning, which is not bad. Hey, no stability, huh? That's not good. <clears throat> Summon the warband. Summon war... Oh! We lose command power and political power. That's interesting. Invest stimulus into them? Well, we can't quite do that yet. Oh, we got scavenging efforts. Nice. So here, they, oh, they, oh yeah, integrated tribe leaders. Oh yeah, raiders are a lot more fun when you actually know the raiders. <laughs> uh, very good. Help them out. Oh, actually, you know what? You all just hold, just hold, defend the lands for now. Uh, that's not good. They're attacking like crazy. You know what? Force the attack. They got a lot more divisions than I thought they did. Oh, up to nineteen. Huh. All right. Whatever. Can you move over there and help them out, maybe? Actually, why are you moving? Help let you guys move out. <clears throat> See what happens. Let them come in. Are they all moving into there? That'd be kind of crazy, not gonna lie. Uh, let's deploy you early, then. And I'll throw you right there. Because you can just race over there pretty quickly, probably. Alright, let's move in so we don't have to guard as much territory, then. No, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. No, no, you gotta force the attack. You gotta hurry up, get through here, break them, and then they'll just speed through this area. Cool. Let's grab some of this too. Smoke signals. Oh, now they're hopping out. God dang it. Alright, not bad. <sighs> Attacking. We need to do our land doctrine too. That'd be probably pretty helpful. Long road home. Not bad, not bad. Let's do eyes along the desert. Yeah, let's do that one. <clears throat> along, eyes along the road, I mean. We're going to deploy scouts along, along the I-80 and other roads to keep... What the? Come on, Old World Blues. Uh, an eye out for these threats. Not bad. How many men have we lost, actually? 106 versus 187. That's not great. <clears throat> Come on, flood in there, flood in there. You ain't, you done, you ain't done. Promote. It's good. We lose that, whatever. Come on, guys, down south. You gotta do it. Natural disasters, give everything we can. Uh, sure. I don't want to lose ability for now. Then again, we're only 6%. Uh, how about you just move in and then deal with them that way? Come on, come on, come on. You're taking too long. And, boom. Head on up. Take them out. Don't worry about anything else for now. Y'all just defend. Yeah, let them attack us. Let them attack us. Can they actually pierce us? They, yeah, they can actually pierce us. The 80s petition. An envoy from Kazal's Legion has visited our tribal grounds and offered us a deal. Pledge allegiance to Kazal's Legion and abandon the old ways. Refuse and feel the full might of the Legion. Of course, we accept. Uh, our allegiance to him? Well, we want to go to war with the NCR probably, so. Well, sure, why not? Maybe it'll help us out. We got anything around here? Local leader? Might not be bad. Uh, more attack. Yeah, I'm always going to grab more attack probably. And you guys, what do we got? Nerd Rage. We could do. These guys are considered infantry or. I'm not sure. Are motorized considered? They should be considered infantry. They should be. So. Maybe that'll be good to do. Go with gun net. Why not? It's just motorized infantry. So, technically. At least we kill the division off. <clears throat> that'll be pretty nice. Alright, force it. Force them to die. We're losing too many men from this. Oof. Chief of the army. Let's go and go with. Just, I mean, that, that's just the best one to do. But I'll let you, let you guys decide. Who should we choose here? So I'm going to go, go ahead and choose more recruitable population. <clears throat> but should we choose Norton Sullivan? Should we get Isaac Berry? Or should we go with Joshua Blunt? Let me know in the comments below. I'm totally cool with choosing any one of those guys. So, so we've killed... Well, we've lost 200-some. Killed out 500. All right, seriously, at this point, I need you to stop attacking. I need you to come up here and cut all these guys off. That is literally your only goal right now. Alright, other divisions. These guys are doing up here. Okay, up here. Oh. Spread out, spread out, and circle and destroy. You get down here and just have a good old time because you're speedy. At least you should be. Okay, so they're completely cut off. So that's nice. You all demand tribute. Uh, we ain't going to be pushed around, son. I want you, two of you, to go right here so we can circle that guy as well. Thank you. If anything, you hold and you attack right there. Actually, their capital is completely left open. I want to kill them at this point. They could cause too many casualties for me to care about them anymore. Good. Force the attack. Oh, they went to war with the timekeepers. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's come up here, too. Let's grab some of this. Encryption. Very good. And it's giving, giving our guys a lot more experience, which is really nice, actually. Now, don't do that. you got to get back over here. Hey, you cut them off. Nice. Good job, guys. The ranchers. Can we move in faster? Yep. We ran them. All right, maybe I should just take in the capital, and that's my fault. Then again, like I said, this is my first time playing this, so. But when I play them again, we'll know what to do. Crabber territory, please. Uh, don't use those. Use militia forces for now. And retaking the road, drive by Eastport. Let's do this one. The first step to claiming our powers is to take back the ID. Let's get to it. And after that, we oh we could have used some planes too. We need to build some air bases. Words the elders. We need more than twenty factories. We have seventeen. It's not very much, I would say. But let's go back to raiding. Let's see. Tributize. Tributize. Tax. Good, good, good. Alright. So we can tax the grabbers. Ripe Rolt is right here. First war was a little contesty. But that's alright. Uh, let's see. Stockpile. We're doing okay. We got plenty of guns. 
Motorcycles are just the biggest problem that we have. So let's go ahead and make production much more important. Take one more off for now. To make that much more motorcycles. Alright. Tax, tax, ripe, rolt. Seven days. Oh no, seven days for that. We have about 34 days for that. Not bad. And since we got a little bit of money, let's go start doing some uh, department stuff. At least we expanded already. I like that. I like expanding. Well, I don't like my waist expanding, but you know, whatever. Five more. Retaking the road. Yeah, we're on outside volunteers. We might go with outside our auxiliaries and outside our battalions, maybe. We'll see what happens, though. Since we technically are already using... Uh, where is it? We had conscripts, so we'll see what happens. Let's see. Oh, we got bonuses here. Oh, can we just skip, like, this? Huh. It's not bad. What's down here? Is this piercing, air attack? Well, I think let's go and start doing some of our land doctrine. Grand battle plans, that'd be nice. More planning is nice, so... And let's go, ooh, actually, ooh, I kind of want to train our guys, but it might be best to wait. Raid the countryside, size, side, mano prospectors. Uh, do we need any more resources? How are our resources looking? Water's good. We need some more advanced circuitry and such. Secret language is not bad. Let's grab some of this, too. Decode signals. Happy 2277, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Yeah, 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 yeah. For 10, that's not bad. Medical chem companies, but we might not need medical chem companies for this campaign, so... All right, not bad. Come on, just I want to raid. I just want to raid their booties. That sounds kind of weird. Some of the Reno War Band, the Vault C Raiders. That's kind of cool. Raiders for New Hammond, huh? Best stimulus. We have 25 caps still. 250 caps in total. Not bad. So we're trying to get closer and closer to Cyclops Tribe. Pale Folk would be fun to take out. Let's we'll see what happens. Form a department. That's nice. All right, Art of Haggling. Not bad. Let's go ahead and do. Well, we'll probably end up going to war with these guys. All right. So, thank you. So this area, thank you, is called Lund, Duckwater, and she Smith. Begin. Now, do they have anti-tank? They don't have anti-tank yet, which is very good. Hopefully we win, because who, who wants to lose? I don't. Bo the Jester. Is that like Bo Cohen? Oh, they're throwing out more guys. We need to make your guys thicker. Ah, good. Oh, there goes the timekeepers. So sad for them. Uh, swing north. Oh, we can go to New Hammond, finally. Or, ooh, ripe rolls, grabbers. Swing north, why not? Before we head south, we should try to get New Hammond. They will pay for insulting us by existing. Huh. Yeah, why not? Sounds like fun. All right, come on, Henshi. Don't lose. Don't lose now. You're, you're all a bunch of veterans. And code signals are nice. Let's grab some vacuum tubes as well. Oh, yeah, we might lose here, maybe. Let's see what happens. I, I really don't know. Let's grab some public projects, though. Thank you. Angie, please don't lose. For the love of God, please do not lose. In the meantime, let's throw all you guys up here. Actually, it won't even matter. Let's just close that up for now. All of you guys, come on up here. And hopefully we can do okay against these guys. And get more factories, because factories are going to be super important. Uh, is he learning? Slowly. Slowly but surely. Oops, sorry, that was my chair. Woo! Well, are we getting more army XP at least? That would be nice. Yes, we are. Looks like we're losing. Even we just have two divisions attacking. So, called the Diana. Not bad. Or raids. Uh, focus on internal sphere. That's not worth it. Yeah, that's not worth it. Nothing down there I really care about. Uh, economic advisors. Well, let's just go with. Actually, is anything else here that's different? Anything for motorized or docks medical companies? Not bad. Steel, explosives, energy, ballistics. Eh. Expanding the game would not be bad. Raid of the Seas would be kind of worthless. Let's just go and go with outside auxiliaries for now. There we go. Tried and true. Head on up here, too. Inchi, what are you learning? Slowly becoming a desert fox, which is nice. Wow. This is taking a long time. I didn't realize it would take this long, but that's okay. They're still mobilizing some more, too. Nice. Oh, the raid of recruitment. What, what are on these enemy divisions? Literally just infantry. Hmm. So we're out of this stuff. Let's lower this. I want to make these guys bigger. And we might use APCs too. Let's go ahead and do this just so that we have it ready for the future. That'd be good. And now we're out like how many? A thousand? Ah, 
that's better than what I thought would happen. Okay, so we got this stuff. Reject wisdom of the elders. Can we do words of the elders? The elders saw our people on the jury from California, past Reno, Vault City, and the Master Ronins. Perhaps they have more to teach us. Yes, that'd be good. You 75 more army XP. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, no, it looks, doesn't look good. <clears throat> well, that's just because we improved, well, some of these guys. Oh, you're only 10 combat width. I should have realized that before. You guys are 20 combat width, which is just better overall. Wow. But hey, at least we get more army XP, which is nice. Alright, so let's just go and do this as well. Outside of battalions. We allow outside of battalions just because it makes more sense for us. Okay, Hinchy. Are you still learning? Are you still sort of learning? Let's go grab this too. There you go. Battle of Hoover Dam. The battle will shape the Mojave no matter the outcome. Very good. Los was puppeted. And, oh, caravan cards. Oh, no, 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 no. We want wasteland pacification. That way we'll get them done as fast as possible. Res resistance for now, but that's fine. Compliance strength goes up. Battle plans are nice. Let's grab some field fortifications. Thank you. Plus 0.3 entrenchment for infantry. Which is okay. How much manpower do these guys have? Duck water, huh? Cruel Heartland face masteries. We had about 50, 1,500 manpower. Got a couple divisions. We're beating them up, but it's going to take forever to do. Holy cow. Old World Wall holds. An unstable status quo prevails. Now, I don't want to stop him. He's doing a good job, and he's always in green. So we'll see what happens. Actually, we're improving our motors as well. Do we have a... Oh, yes. This is good. Finally. Uh, 78. That's not bad, actually. That is actually not bad. We're going to have to manually control these guys, too, though. So, one, two, three. And go up to 100 if we can. And then, actually, split you guys in half. You know what? One of you guys will go over here. And the other group will go over here. That's fine. Actually, well, I don't think this will help right now, will it? Cool. Let's do that. Do you actually get any bonuses to air in a border war? Intel advantage? It doesn't look like it. Uh, yeah, I don't think we do. Which is totally fine. Totally, totally, totally fine. There you go. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Both of you guys just do this for now. Train. So it's good to train. There you go. And what else do we have? Oh, there we go. Let's get to 100% and then we'll start doing some more of this. So only factory stuff. Words of the elders. Vacuum tubes are nice. Basic hygiene, good public projects. Uh, let's grab some of this too. I like that. And we haven't done too much for vehicles. Let's get some salvage motorcycles. And City of Banners? Why not? Each band of the 80s flies his own banner in honor of the great races before the war. When we fly the banners, the tribe will come home to prepare for the amazing race west. Which is a great thing. Seriously, you guys are taking so long. Holy cow. I just want to go to war, man. Hey, not bad. That's actually not too bad. Anything else around your infantry equipment, fire teams? We have more than enough army XP, so I don't mind doing some of this. You guys, we're going to eventually replace these guys with all motorized, which is going to actually hurt our energy supply consumption and stuff. But for now, demo teams, fire teams, make these guys really good in defense. I think that would be okay. And we need to build more stuff. Uh, let's build up Wendover. There you go. And eventually, build it up to here too. Boom, 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 boom. Not bad. Even that little dirt patch there, that means absolutely nothing to us. All right, you guys looking pretty good. Government staff for schools. That's good. Thank you. How much money do we have? 220. That's not bad. How much do we make every quarter? 23. Not enough, but whatever. Oh, man. How many minutes have we lost? 300 some. This border war. At this point, I'm not sure if this is really a border war anymore. This is just a major conflict at this point. <laughs> with the amount of time we're spending with this, I might just go to war with these guys anyways, because the longer we wait, the worse off it becomes for us, so. Oh, wait, wait. No, I don't want to do that. What? Oh, I wanted this. What the heck game? I'm more than certain I clicked on this. Okay, so the border war is still going on. That's fine. Get a new commander. Lafayette. Uh, Rock Foster. Get more attack. And let's get, make sure we get this too. So I didn't realize you could do that at the same time. Cool. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. At least it can do a little bit of damage there too. That, that'll be nice. Slowly pushing in. Slowly, slowly, slowly. After that, I want you guys to get up to New Hammond. And cut these guys off if you can. I'm not even going to bother. Just let them do whatever they want. Cool. At least we're at war. That's nice. I like war. Uh, you might get in circle, but that's alright. Now these guys are going to die. And this will help our two infantry divisions move up north. So that's good. Anything else around here that we should really know about? Government sacrifice schools. Let's do some of that too. Uh, you guys, head up to here. And cut them off. Cut everyone on the right off. And then just double down and circle back. There you go. 
Oh, another operative, not bad. Hamilton Conrad, thank you very much. They're attacking us, we're attacking them. I don't care really about the cost in terms of lives for this. And everyone on the right has just been primarily cut off. They still have some, they still have some victory points so they can get some more supply, but that's all right. Good. Oh yeah, look at that, they're doing last stand there, look at that. Oh boy, at least they were for a while. People to win. The 80s are the fastest of the way, so many of us have become couriers in Nevada. We'll go over where the wind takes us, and none will stand in our way. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing a great job, Reno. Oh. Uh, actually, now you probably want to head on over there. Oh, Etna? Yes, please. Etna mode. Wow. So we've lost 300. We've killed 700. Salvage motorcycles, not bad. Let's grab some more. Less speed, but more armor. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna do that too. Oh, God. Now we need more circuitry. That's not good. But such is the price of conquest and civilization. <clears throat> Kelton, wow, this is taking a while to kill these guys off too. Oh, then again, I mean, they're like 99, 98% of the way there. That's not too bad. All right, you want to do that, son? All right, you go die then. Oh, that didn't really help them at all. Actually, that's part of our territory, I think, too, so. Yeah, no. Oh, there they go. Beautiful. Not bad. And let's go through one more focus before we uh, end the episode. Change the description. Let's go and do that. How much money are we making now? 216, 23. That's not bad still. All right. Tributize and tax them. Rejected us. How dare you? And let's ask the followers. Oh, wrong one. Right? Yep, that was the wrong one I chose. Oh, well, whatever. So you guys are taking forever. Field fortifications are nice. Let's grab some coordinated assault, which would be nice for more breakthrough. And for us here... Oh, we actually have a positive amount of motorized. Look at that. Beautiful. I think we might want to go to war with whom next? People of the Wind. Ripe Rolt and or Grabbers. Let's go to go with, with Grabbers, maybe? How's the supply down here? Not great. We might just go to war with these guys then. Because they're taking so long that at this point... I can't imagine them having that much more manpower left at this point. Just because this is a little bit ridiculous, not going to lie. Alright, so we have some sort of upgrade here. Grand. Local leader, he's inspirational. A beloved leader, less defense, more recovery rate. I don't really care for that one. Ooh, tough leader's not bad. Let's try that one. Experience soldiers' losses. And the tough leader will go with that one. Wow. This border war is uh, kind of crazy, not gonna lie. We've lost eight, almost a thousand people so far. That's a bit extreme, I would say, that this is gonna go on and on and on. And on and on and on. That's all right. So, people of the wind. Oh, standardized tools are not bad. Let's grab some stuff with primitive radio. Oh, we missed one thing over there too, but whatever. And let's go ahead and do what was it? Ripe rolls? I think it was ripe rolls. With Ruby Valley Skirt, it's time to seize Ripe Today a small territory, tomorrow New Reno. But hope you enjoyed today's first episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna take out a lot more of the wasteland. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.